Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you everything about wands. So if you're a beginner or don't know how to use wand, this will really be helpful for you to understand wand and let's just get started. So I'm just going to press on wand. And the first thing is the middle button here. So when you press on it, no new video, it will just upload a video from your camera roll and projects we just upload a project you have saved and then restore previous state so for example if you if your phone died and everything is gone now you can press on it so it can just restore whatever you did and then when you press on these three lines load new video is the same thing same to new project and add text to photos is for an, an, another app and then settings is just settings now let's just get to upload a video so you can just get in started okay so here's the video that I have chosen I guess anyways when you see that it will just make this orange thing move to the first like at zero 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 and this is, a, this is the same thing like those are same and then the play thing is when you play the video and here's when you export the video for example if this is at the middle it will just make it at the first again and then this, the same thing goes to this and this is when you play the video I'm this one wrong, but I'm always right. So if you want to add text, you can press anywhere, anywhere in the screen. Like, I mean, I mean like anywhere, anywhere in the screen. But it has to be on the video, not on that, on this grid thing. On this thing. Like, don't press on those, press on the video. Anywhere in the video, too. So I'm going to just press anywhere and then add text. For example, I'm just going to write Hi I am showing Hi I am showing a tutorial on how to use what. So basically a line this we just move the text like this for example at the left this is at the center and this is at the right so i'm just going for center and this font thing it will just make, let, let you choose fonts you can change any font and the present will just show you the date of today and then symbols will just show you the symbols so we can see present here and then symbols you can choose any symbol you want and then you press on font, you can choose any font. By the way, I have a tutorial on how to download fonts and you can check that out if you don't if you don't know how to. And yeah, so this is how many fonts I have downloaded. Comment down below how many fonts do you have downloaded? And this edit thing is you can press on that and then remove any one. This is how to install fonts and I don't know about that. By the way, these font things here are just pre-downloaded fonts and these are the star things. All my favorite. So I'm just going for the font and this. So if you want to know about this thing, so text, it will just let you rename the text and size will just make the size smaller or bigger. Font is when you want to change the font, tilt, when you want to tilt a style, it's just when you want to color it, add background or move it. And then here, move it. And then when you scroll like that, you can see something called curve. So you can curve the text and this is duplicate and this is when you delete it for example when you press on that you can see there's two of them and you can delete that now so i wanted to make it a little bit more bigger okay so here's it now and the font i'm just going for this font if you want to know which
which fonts do I use, you, you can check my website in the description box. It is down below, okay? And uh, tilt when you want to tilt the text. And then move. So basically when you press on that, this will make it at the center horizontally and this is at last. My phone just stopped working for a minute. I don't know why. Maybe because I don't have storage, enough storage. Anyways, I'm just going to continue first. So um, this is when you want it horizontally, like see? When you want it at the center horizontally and this is when you want it at the center vertically. And this is when you want, where do you want it? So for example, here and yeah, whatever you want. Then we press on curve, you can see you can curve it. Then you press on style, this is the style, this is the colors here. I'm just going for pink and you can just adjust it from here. So basically this, create a color pattern. When you want the text to be like, like that. For example, I'm just going for pink, yellow, blue. So you can see it looks like that now. Here at the top here, this is when you want it to be vertically. And this is horizontally. And this is character by character and this is word by word. So when you press on that save is when you want to save the style. And this will apply when you want to apply it to the text. I'm just going to save it and you can see it is now saved. And this is my patterns and I have chosen this one. So I'm just going to go back. And this choke is when, is when you want it to be thinner or thicker. So when you press on that, you can see it gets like that. Thinner and thicker. So I'm just going for maybe that 10. And this is the curves. And this is the same thing as the text thing. And then we go to background and you can choose anything. I'm just going for blue. And you can see here. It is like that. So you press on that, that, that last thing style. You can choose how you want it to look like. And this is how the opacity of it. I'm just going for zero. I don't really want it. Okay, so now I'm just going for the next thing here. This is when you want to save, import, or type a new color code. So we press on that. You can choose a, a color from the from the video. I'm just going for blue. And when you want to save it, you can press on save. And this is the color code. And this is the pe the pencil thing or note thing. You can just write a color code. And so I'm just going for the pink one. Then here, press on style. Here, when you want the shadow, so this is how beautiful it, it looks like, and this is the position of it. And spacing the spacing between the letters, the lines, and underline is we want underlines, and blend. This is how to make your text clear or transparent. And this is when you want to save a style. So if you want it back, you can press on that. And yeah, here's it again. You can see, like if you're old, you can see that something is cool you need to buy a pro kit to write more than five texts. So I'm just going to show you a tip on how to have more text layers without actually buying it. So you can press on any text, for example, I'm just going for this, and duplicate it. Then you can remove everything here, and I'm just going to write any heart. And yeah. You can see there's more there's more than five and yeah this is how you can have more text now i'm going to show you how to make it move so press on it and then press on that non thing and you can press on any transition style and same thing goes to out like this is how will it be late or early this is for example this is 25 it will come first and when you want it to be slow, you can press on that, like that. And that was the end of the video. Bye!